Hey everyone, we are going to learn how to find the surface area of cylinders today. Before we um, look at the formulas, let's review important key features of cylinders. So remember, cylinders have two circular bases and they are connected by the height. There's my two circular bases, here's my height. There's my two circular bases that I shaded in pink and the height connects them. And then same thing here, two circular bases and the height connects them. So now let's look at our surface area formulas. We have two different surface areas we're gonna learn about today, lateral surface area and total surface area. Let's start with lateral surface area. So the formula for lateral surface area of a cylinder is two pi r h. 2 pi r h is the lateral surface area, which includes the curved rectangle and not the bases. So we're finding everything except for those circles. So you're finding this part of the cylinder. And if I fold the cylinder out into a net, um, I have two circular bases, and those bases are both pi r squared, and then I have this rectangle that connects the circular bases. And that is the lateral surface area that we find by doing 2 pi r h. Let's look a little bit more at where that comes from. So the lateral surface area is a rectangle. And remember, the area of a rectangle is length times width. Well, I already know what the length is. It's h. So that's where the h comes from in the formula. Let's look at the 2 pi r part really quick. So this part is 2 pi r. Remember, 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle. So the circumference of the circle here, whenever I unfold the rectangle, is the width of it. And the circumference is 2 pi r. So that is where the, oops, I wrote 2 pi r h. It's just 2 pi r. That's where the 2 pi r times h comes for the lateral surface area formula. Okay, then total surface area is the 2 pi r h, that rectangle, plus 2 pi r squared. The total surface area covers all of the cylinder, including the circular bases. So that's why I add in 2 pi r squared, capital B is the area of the base. So I'm adding in those two area of the bases. Okay, so that is where the formulas come from. Now let's actually use the formulas to solve for the surface area. So the first one, it wants me to find the lateral surface area of the cylinder. First thing I'm gonna do is shade my bases and I'm going to circle the height. And then I'm gonna write down the formula. The formula for lateral surface area of a cylinder is two pi r h. So I will need the radius and the height to find the lateral surface area. Radius and height. Height, I already circled it, it is 10, and radius is easiest to see right here, it is seven. And now I'm just gonna substitute into the formula. I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times the radius of 7 times the height of 10. And that will tell me the lateral surface area. So 2 times 3.14 times 7 times 10 is 439.14. 6 centimeters squared. Okay, now we're going to look at the same cylinder, but we're going to find the total surface area. So I'm going to need this formula to include those two bases. So I will use the formula 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. I need the same two things, radius, I'm gonna plug it in twice, and then I also need the height. So let's break down the shape a little bit more. There's our bases, and I'm gonna circle the height. 
So my radius is 7 and my height is 10. And now I'm just going to substitute into the formula. So it's going to be 2 times 3.14 times the radius of 7 times the height of 10 plus 2 times 3.14 times my radius of 7 squared. Be careful when you're typing it into the calculator since there are so many numbers. So we do 2 times 3.14 times 7 times 10. There's the lateral surface area, same as I got last time. Now I'm going to add in the two bases, plus 2 times 3.14 times 7 squared. And I get 747.32 feet squared. Okay, let's look at number 3. It wants me to find the total surface area which is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So I need to identify my bases and then circle the height that connects the bases, which is 12. So same two things I needed as last time, the radius, which is 7.25, and the height, which is 12. So now I'm just going to substitute in. It'll be 2 times 3.14 times my radius of 7.25 times the height of 12 plus 2 times 3.14 times my radius of 7.25 squared. Okay, 2 times 3.14 times 7.25 times 12 plus 2 times 3.14 times 7.25 squared, I get 876.45 meters squared. All right, let's look at the next one. This time I just need to find the lateral surface area, which is just 2 pi r h. So I'll need the same thing, radius and height. So here's the basis, my circular basis, and my height is 13.5 that connects them. My radius, I need to be careful this time. They gave me the diameter. It goes the whole way across. So I'm going to have to do 16 divided by 2 to get the radius, which is 8. So now I have both things I need to find lateral surface area. I have the radius of 8, which will go there and my height of 13.5. So to find the lateral surface area, I'll do 2 times 3.14 times my radius of 8 times my height of 13.5. And 2 times 3.14 times 8 times 13.5 is 678.24 centimeters squared. Okay, another total surface area. So I'm going to need the longer formula, 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. And I'll need the same two things to find the total surface area, radius and height. So there are my circular bases, and the height is 17 because it connects the bases. I know it's kind of weird because it's on the side, but that's still the height. And then again, they gave me the diameter, so I'm going to have to divide the diameter by 2 to find the radius. So 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. Okay, now I have everything I need for my formula. I have the radius, which I'll plug in for r, and the height of 17, which I'll plug in there. So I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times 3.5 times the height of 17 plus 2 times 3.14 times my radius of 3.5 squared. So 2 times 3.14 times 3.5 times 17 
plus 2 times 3.14 times 3.5 squared, and I get 450.59 yards squared. Okay, number six. It says that the cardboard tube used in a roll of wrapping paper is 18 inches long and has a diameter of one inch. If the cardboard tube has no ends, what is the amount of cardboard that was used? So this no ends tells me that I'm going to be finding lateral surface area because I'm not including the bases. So I will use the formula 2 pi r h. Okay, and then they told me that the diameter was one, so I'm gonna have to divide that by two to find the radius, which is 0 0.5. And then the height, they didn't say the height in this one, but remember the height doesn't always have to be vertical. The height connects the bases, which is 18. 18 inches long, that's gonna be the height here because it's connecting the bases. Okay, now I'm just gonna substitute in R. 0 0.5 and h for 18 and then I'll be able to find the lateral surface area. I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times my radius of 0.5 times my height of 18 and 2 times 3.14 times 0.5 times 18 is 56.52 inches squared. 